take a look at any Tesla Model 3 and try to guess what's the most expensive part to manufacture. Go ahead, we'll wait. It's okay if it's not obvious, because you can't see it without tearing a Tesla apart. Investment bankers UBS ran an analysis of such a teardown and found that the battery makes up to 40% of the manufacturing costs of any Model 3. The battery has been one of Tesla's greatest challenges in their goal to make a vehicle that's affordable to most people, yet still profitable. The ticket price for a Model 3 is currently about $42,900, while the average new car in America is selling at around $32,000. In February, Mr. Musk tweeted that the Model 3 is down to just below $35,000, but only if you include $8,000 in gas savings and a tax credit that's set to expire on July 1st. The $42,900 ticket still puts the Model 3 outside of reach for most consumers. So we're going to take a look at what makes the batteries in Teslas so expensive. I see a Tesla, I don't see a car. I see, you know, a battery pack driving around disguised as a car. Jay Whitaker of Carnegie Mellon University studies the battery cells produced by Panasonic, Tesla's supplier. Certainly the, the first or second most expensive thing in any of these vehicles is the battery pack. And so they are acutely interested in shaving off every penny they can from the cost of that pack because obviously uh, the vehicle market is very competitive and they are competing with internal combustion engine cars. He says the amount of charge a battery holds can make a big difference in the battery's cost. The lower end of the Model 3 can hold 50 kilowatt hours of charge. That's good for 220 miles of driving. Doing that takes 2,976 of these. The Panasonic 2170. Good reason to believe that Tesla's kind of found that sweet spot with this particular flavor, this particular variation, because I think you know, they're one of the early adopters or maybe the only adopter of this particular size. It remains the most energy-dense battery suitable for electric vehicles. Its namesake 21 and 70 stands for the diameter and height of the battery, which is bigger and bulkier than the predecessor found in the Model S. The, the main thing you want to do if you want to optimize the cost of a lithium-ion battery cell is you want to have the thickest electrodes you can have in any of them. So you're ma making fewer cells with more energy. This definitely is going to play out to a better cost proposition at the end of the day. The nuance in materials matters. Tesla's batteries rely on a mixture of lithium, nickel, cobalt, aluminum, and oxide. The biggest thing driving the cost was the cobalt. So Tesla and Panasonic reduced their reliance on the element. Their new battery uses more silicon instead. Analyst Sandy Monroe, who tore down Model 3s, touted its battery management system, saying that Tesla is far ahead of the competition, which shows in this chart. Over the last decade, batteries were projected to come in at pretty expensive rates, as much as $1,500 per kilowatt hour. In a vehicle with a similar range to the Model 3, that could translate to a $75,000 battery. When contacted, Tesla wouldn't share details on its cost for the Model 3 batteries but it's clear that the company has consistently entered markets well under projected rates. The red dots on this chart represent their entries on the EV market, and a UBS estimate on Tesla's Model 3 batteries comes in at $111 per kilowatt hour. That's 20% cheaper than the nearest competitor. But so far, it hasn't been enough to hit the $35,000 mark without tax credits. So the company has looked for other ways to optimize battery costs, like scaling production. In 2015, the automaker announced a joint venture Gigafactory with Panasonic. Tesla's website shows that the factory is producing up to 20 gigawatt hours of new capacity each year. That includes production for other products, but there's plenty of battery storage for cars happening there. Whitaker says that many batteries per year maxes out their savings from a high scale of production. Uh, what our analysis shows, and we've run this a number of times, is that if you get much above somewhere between 600 uh, megawatt hours a year and one gigawatt hour a year of lithium ion battery production in a, in a factory, adding more things in that factory, adding more units or increasing the throughput doesn't help you with costs anymore. However, the corollary is that if you centralize a huge amount of production of one thing in one location, your supply chain is simplified, your logistics are simplified, your manpower distribution is simplified. There's a lot of other um, like overhead or exogenous things that can be you know, significant in the overall like rundown of what it, why does this cost what it costs. 
So for now, Tesla will have to find some other way to get to a true price that has wide appeal in the states. Tax credits or production line tweaks can help, but without a scientific breakthrough, there are limited ways to make big savings in the battery. For consumers, that means another generation of research is due before EVs can really compete on price with their gasoline-fueled alternatives.